Hello again and welcome back to Venture Care at Home. We have our third and final St. Patty's Day craft I'm going to do for this care package. Of course, um, if you've opened your care package, you know you have a lot of other really fun goodies in there to celebrate St. Patty's Day. You also have some scratch art shamrocks and a St. Patty's Day bingo and prizes. And, um, so I hope you're enjoying everything and I can't wait to get those pictures. You can go ahead and send those to my email for those of you who have my email. Um, please don't forget to share. I really love to see everyone's artwork and how you use the care packages to celebrate. So what we have for our final one, and this is another um, pretty simple one, and I'm gonna ask you to get as creative as you'd like um, to do this. I'm gonna use markers. You can certainly use crayons or paints or whatever you'd like. Um, this is gonna be on a, a thicker card stock, and it's simply just a shamrock outline with a starburst effect. And the idea is that you're going to pick um, two shades of one color, and then either two shades of another color or a like light and dark. Um, I went with the yellow and orange because of St. Patty's Day. You see a lot of the gold and, and yellows and oranges from the flag and whatnot. Um, and I went with the greens for the shamrock. So I'm gonna use markers. You could do this with crayons. You could do it with paint. That's up to you. And uh, I, I've said this before, kind of what I like to do is outline the area that I'm going to color. But basically what you wanna do is, I'm gonna take my two shades of green and color my shamrock pieces that are within these lines. So go ahead and watch first to see how this works um, so that you can do yours as well. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna first outline where I'm gonna color. This is just gonna make it easier for me to see what I'm doing. So. I only want to color the pieces of the shamrock this color, not what's outside of the shamrock, okay? So I'm outlining here because this is where the line cuts through, so I don't wanna do that small piece, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and color this in. The outline helps me to see my boundaries and it helps me to stay in the lines. So I follow along those lines so that I know where my boundaries are. Now I'm gonna skip over my next one and it's gonna be every other one is gonna be this dark green. So I'm gonna skip over the next one and I'm going to trace this line here. So I skip that one and go to the next one. Outline. And this one is a little trickier because that's where we have, we have a different breakdown of the shamrock. So this is where doing our outline really helps us color the right part. And you'll see when this is done, the effect of it is, is pretty cool.
So we skip and do this one. skip and do this one okay so now we are done with our dark green you could already see kind of how cool it is coming out my dark green to the side I'm gonna take out my light green and so we're gonna do the same thing um, just with the spots of the shamrock that we haven't colored yet Okay, so I'm going to outline And so that's our shamrock part that's done. Isn't that cool? So now we're gonna do the outsides and that's pretty much gonna be just the same as what we did. Um, what I'm gonna do is over where our darkest green is, is I'm gonna use my lightest color. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Every other one, wherever my dark green is, I'm gonna put the yellow. And wherever the light green is, I'm gonna add the orange.
folks, there you have your Shamrock Starburst artwork. It's a really beautiful piece. Go ahead and hang that in your window or use it to decorate your house. Again, don't forget to please share, share, share your artwork. I love to see how creative you guys get. Happy St. Patrick's Day and hope to see you all soon.